now the first step is to disable ray tracing now for this you can just make a right click on the game on steam then select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder now open the client folder now open saved folder now open the config folder now open windows no editor folder now over here you can see game user settings so make a double click over here you can see ray tracing quality let me check so over here you can see ray tracing if this is set to 1 so by default uh, if the ray tracing is on it should be 1 if this is set to 1 you can set it to 0 just change the value to 0 then go to file and then click on save and then launch the game and then check if that does not work reinstall uninstall and reinstall s guard anti cheat now for this you can go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder open the client folder over here open binaries win64 and then open anti-cheat expert open s card x64 over here you can see uninstall option make a right click then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow click here you can see this will uninstall anti-cheat expert so click on yes uninstall is complete now you can reinstall it so make a right click click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then again make a right click on this then click on run as administrator click on yes and then you can check also make a right click over here click on run as administrator click on yes now still not working then again make a right click over here manage browse local files open client binaries win64 anti-cheat expert s guard x64 make a right click on uninstall run as administrator click on yes to allow click on yes uninstall completed now launch the game now when you launch the game during the launch it will install anti-cheat expert so click on yes to allow and it should install anti-cheat expert and then you can check so during the launch it will install anti-cheat expert and then you can check now the next step is to if you are using windhawk in that case you can add the steam folder or game or the game exe file for the game to windows excluded process list so you can go to settings advanced more advanced and then you can add the game exe file or the complete steam folder uh, to windhawks and then check or you can simply you can disable disable it or you can just turn off close windhawk and then you can launch the game this is a work for many players so it might work for you if you're using waterfox then in that case you can turn it off or you can close waterfox and then check next step is to disable or close wallpaper engine so if you're uh, running wallpaper engine you can just close it turn it off and then check close power toys so if you're using power toys in my case it's not installed I'm not using power toys but if you're using power toys close it and then launch the game next step is to verify the game file now for this make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like a vast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to anti antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security and then cl click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on manage ransomware protection click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allowed app click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so open the game folder so in my case this is the location so open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open again click on add and allowed app browse all apps open client folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel and then go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again open the game folder select the game exe file click on open click on add and in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then open client binaries win64 select this exe file click on open click on add once the game is added over here 
now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this you can go to game location manage browse local files and then open this client binaries win64 select this exe file make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working this time you can put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working select windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working you can do the same thing with the first exe file and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and do the same thing with the first exe file and follow the next step now the next step is to do not overclock so if you have overclocked your computer you can set it to default and then close all the overclocking application like if you have msi after burner revert tuner any kind of overclocking application you can close it after you set it to default disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then check if that does not work make a right click on the game select properties and in the launch option type in dash dx12 and now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work go to properties once again and this time you can type in dash to dx11 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working then the next step is to rename the save game files now to also, uh, before, uh, like when you disable all the overlay application, when you try this DX, you try this DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Now, if you have any other overlay application like Discord running, you can go to Discord settings and then turn off overlay or you can simply close discord so if discord is running like sometimes discord is hidden over here you can make a right click on discord and then click on close close discord you can close nvidia app you can open nvidia app and then you can go to settings and then you can turn off nvidia overlay over here or close all the overlay application and then check now the next step is to rename the save game files now before you rename it uh, let me inform you that you will lose all the save game progress you have to start everything from scratch so create a backup first now for this you can make a right click on the game manage browse local files open this client folder over here you can see save folder you can copy this and then you can paste it to the desktop create a backup first now once you have a backup over here now you can just make a right click on saved folder and then you can rename it dot old and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see the screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver restart your computer and then go to amd website select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in type in graphics settings in windows search box so type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings 
and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on add now once the game is added so find the game in the list now once you find the game over here now click on the game and then over here you will see a gpu preference you can select high performance you will see your graphic card over here again click on add desktop app and then select the first exe file again over here you will select you know, select high performance and then you can check now the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website and then install these visual files here you can see x86 and x64 install these two so click on it and so run this exe file click on it now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install now download this x64 file run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and then click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both the installation are complete once it is complete then restart your computer restart is a must after this after the system restart launch the game and then check now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now, the next step is to update the system BIOS. So, go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, and then update the BIOS. And in case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10%, and the AC adapter, the charger, is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, 
and log into the computer and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it. disconnect multiple monitor like if sometimes we have a disconnect also disconnect additional controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnect it disconnect multiple monitor if you have any third party services or application running close it if you have undervolted the computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart the computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel